Greetings and welcome. And today is the last episode of Super H Heroes. Now, like I said, this is the last, last episode, which means we're probably going to get an OVA in or season two, or you're going to read the manga. Those are three options. Of course, the OVA is coming out, which is that good, but we're going to need a season two. And I hope we get a season two for the long run. I mean, the manga is still ongoing and that's a fact. Now, with other big news that's going on, this uh, going on today and uh, and so on. The final season of Food Wars came out, which is good. The final episode, not the final season, the final episode of the final chapter of Food Wars, let me just say that, confirm of two shows. Uzaki-chan wants to hang out, which you gotta watch. It's getting a season two. And Rent a Girlfriend. And, I've, and, and I'm gonna do my review of Rent a Girlfriend, the last episode when it comes out. But let's talk about Super H Heroes. The love that... Hoshino and Enjo have, it was so f obvious. By obvious, I mean it stood out as these two are gonna be together. These two are gonna pull off a combo move. I just wish they were kissed, but they didn't. But I did had a, but I did had a prediction. Like, it was like, this episode, the last episode was so obvious at one point. It was so obvious to say like, oh, Cha-Cha is the 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 governor like the governor and she's the queen you know what i mean like she's the queen that's her mother the long green hair is cha-cha's mother and i said it before that cha-cha's mother it was so obvious now the battle with the queen at the end it was okay not as hype as it was i mean yeah it, it was trying to end things on an etchy you no know, thing but it wasn't that like a big standoff thing i mean like they went to the governor's house Cha Cha got possessed, and then all of a sudden, these five got trapped. These five got trapped in this room where it's isolated with most of H energy. So H energy, so even H energy alone couldn't even break the door. But they did. But in order to do, in order to release all their H energy, the whole team had to do a forbidden move, one that every harem has done before, like Basada or Issei. Yeah, Basada from Shimano Testament and Issei from High School DxD. The one thing that they have done to every girl in a situation with a bunch of girls will be an orgy. So, in other words, have all the girls around him by him. Now, I understand Eto is not that type of person. But to do with the lights off, I mean, after looking at it, after looking at scenes, after scenes with dark scenes, dark cover-ups, we understand everything that they were doing. Even to a point where, like, you know going like taking off his pants or sniffing the girls whatever and and falling on a girl you know like that it was so the bed scene the bedroom scene was so good like i said it's censored it's censored i know that looking at it you want to see more of it but it's all those black shaded scenes you couldn't see much of it it was i understand it irritates me and irritates for most people but who i but i i don't blame you it's but like I said, it's censored. The uncensored come out next year, so we can prop. So when we look at the uncensored version from the first first episode, we can low look at it and say, you know what? That's hilarious. Or see what they're doing. Like, whoa. So that's what they did? And they got rid of it? There are moments like that. Now, as they broke through the doors, here we go again. Barry's basking in the glory of them. These five rangers finally power up and finally showing off their transformation outfits, which was good. Like all Power Rangers, we see transformations, and like this one, they did. And then all of a sudden, boom, here comes this giant boss battle, mini boss, this, a giant ass squid. And the moment I saw a giant ass octopus, I'm like, sorry, octopus. The moment I saw a giant ass octopus, it's just like, oh, here we go. Tentacles. Girls. It's like one and one makes two. So I'm like, two and two makes four. So I'm like, Oh, so when you add this octopus with with girls, that means we get a <laughs> episode of those. But my point is, of course, that was gonna happen at that point. So as they broke free, two of them broke free, which is the which is the couple, of course. They broke free to go chase the queen, while the other three was trying to take down the squid. Cha Cha felt like she was hopeless, but she transformed to her dark form, bit all the bit the three remaining rangers. And boom, they got so much H energy going beast mode that literally blows up 
the giant squid mom, giant octopus monster. I keep saying squid, but they they defeated him. I really hope Cha Cha. I know Cha Cha deep down is gonna be the sixth ranger. I mean, like, ah, yeah, I get it. Cha Cha says she she's an eight year old. I get that, but something tells me about Cha Cha is that they're gonna have her becoming the sixth ranger at some point right now. Not only that, I, not only that, I see it coming. I don't know why. I, I'm just saying she could be the sixth ranger. Now. On to the battle of the queen herself. Angel, I mean, Hoshino, Hoshiro and Angel. Like I said, their relationship started when they was little, but due to some incident with the monster, they got rid of all her age energy. So that's how she became what she is. Sundere, no less. Their power, it was like, this is the power of love. The opening gave it away with them two doing their powers together, holding hands together, and just punch the queen out of the way. Of course, that... Of course, there were some moments where the main, where our main character was to confess his love, didn't work out. Of course, the, of course, we want to see them kissing, it didn't work out. So we hope, so we're like, when are they gonna, when are, when are they gonna kiss? When are they gonna have their moment? Sure, the last boss battle was the moment where they hold hands together, pull all their H energy together, and one blast that, one blast the queen. But it wasn't that big of a boss battle. Like it wasn't a big, big challenge. Granted, if it was, I would have been like, oh my God. But it was like, oh, um, not that big of a deal. The only big deal that like you say from that battle was when they hold hands together and start breaking out that took down the queen, but that's it. But other than that, good episode. Now, days later, days later, the scientist is free, is free and they live their normal lives. This was kind of like a standard episode. It wasn't a hype episode. Sure, they play the opening to give them the confidence. Like, yeah, like you know how Power Rangers, when there's a boss battle, they play their Power Ranger theme song in the final battle scene. So this episode, they did play it. Great episode, no less. I mean, not great, but it was like, oh, okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I, like I said, we're getting an OVA. So basically, we're getting an OVA. They're, I think they're going to put more fan service animes and more fan service of this show as it goes along. While many of us are still waiting for the uncensored version, I'm going to start reading the manga anyway because I know the manga is ongoing. And I've heard that it's still good. So I recommend reading the manga too because I'm going to do that later on. Yeah, but still, there are still questions not are answered. Like, is there more Rangers? Is there more H Energy Rangers out there? Are there any more X Heroes Rangers out there in the other branches? Are we going to see more of, of our main character building up his harem? And what's with the dog? What's with the dog? Is this dog going to pull off a Yorodichi from Bleach? You know how Yorodichi was? A cat and it transformed to a lady? Is this, is this dog going to be somewhat like that? There's still questions not an answer, which is why I'm going to read the manga. Now, overall, watching all these episodes, I see where this is going. They're trying to build the whole Sentai hentai thing going on. With a mixture of Power Rangers and a little bit of fan service, you put them all together and you got a show like this. I get it. And yeah, we don't have any uncensored versions yet, so it's coming along night. It will come along next year. Um, I find this, like I said, they kind of rushed it a bit. We would have gotten more and more, but I feel like this is getting more into depth. Now, as in terms of a tier list of, of harem etchy anime, this is like one of those shows that that people won't even recommend. Well, it's, it, it's going to be recommended, but it's not going to be like, it's going to be like for those who like Power Rangers. Like if you like if you tell someone, who, oh, you like Power Rangers, then watch this show. If you went to the fan service and Power Rangers, you recommend this show, but that's it. But it's not, a, but overall, the show itself is not big compared to like the biggest, biggest of shows out there that has the most high tech, high depth fan service shows like, like Shimamount of Testament. Uh, High School DxD to Love Root. It's not there yet on the scenes. Watching Super H Shift Heroes is kind of like I'll say on a B tier term, mainly because it censors so much that we didn't see every little thing. Ideally, if it was uncensored, this would have been jumped up to an S or an A at one at some point. But truth be told, truth be told, Super H Heroes is not a recommended show of the summer. I mean, I'm sorry for the. Yeah, for the summer, but it is one of those, it's one of these shows that you want to say, like, you know what? This is good. This is still good. And like I said, it's a good show. So thank you for watching Super H Heroes. Later on, I'm going to do Rent a Girlfriend because now that Rent a Girlfriend getting a season two, I look forward to it. So for the last episode. So thank you for watching review of Super H Heroes.